Good day, this is Jim Pytel from Columbia Gorge Community College Renewable Energy Technology Program. This is EET 121 Digital One. Today we're going to discuss the universal properties of the NAND gate. Okay, you guys have been uh, doing a lot of this already, and especially when you guys went through the combined labs four and five from the Floyd book, you guys got to use these a lot. Okay, um, a NAND gate, if we remember, looks like this, looks like an AND gate with a little bubble on it, A and B, output X here, and the only time a NAND gate is low is when both inputs are high. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the universal properties of the NAND. What happens if you tie the inputs together of a NAND gate? Well, you would have a situation right here and right here because they're both they're both the same. So when it's zero zero, when A is zero, it's coming out a one. When an A is a one, it comes out a zero. And what you get is basically this is an inverter. And very similar to, um, you know, just think about like Thevenin's theorem. You know, you can take a, uh, you can take a, uh, a two terminal device and just replace it with its equivalent. You know, this inverter right here can be easily replaced like that. So you've got this crazy complicated circuit with a bunch of inverters in it. You can just take them out and put the NAND gates in place. Okay, so the next property of an AND, excuse me, of a NAND gate is an AND gate, used as an AND gate. If you remember, an AND gate, when both inputs are high, the output is high. And if you think about it, a NAND is a not AND. Well, here's our NAND gate. Why not just put an inverter at the end? But like we said up here, why not just take that inverter and put two tied together inputs of a NAND, OK? So that's the implementation of an AND using NANDs. That's the implementation of a NOT or an inverter using NANDs. And I mean, don't believe me, check it out. I mean, A, B, you know, zero, zero, this comes out of one, then it inverts it to a zero. You know, and think about our truth table for an AND gate, a regular AND gate. So what was it? Zero, zero, comes out of zero. Now A is a zero, B is a one. We're going to get this as our output. It's a 1, and this thing inverts it. That's a 0. You know, same thing for this thing. Now, when A and B are both 1s, it comes out of 0 here. And then this tied together NAND gate inverts it, 1. There is your truth table for an AND. Um, next thing, uh, universal property of the NAND gate is an OR gate. You can now just think about this here. So that's a NAND. That is the that is an because this is AND. You put a bar over it, that's a not AND. So that's the kind of the logical description of a uh, of NAND. So use De Morgan's theorem. It's not A or not B. Pretty cool, huh? So what you can do is, you know, this is basically, because remember our NAND can also be called a negative OR. And that's what it is, is not A or not B. Well, why not just invert these two inputs right here, not A and not B, if you invert a not A, you get an A. Invert a not B, you get a B. By doing it, here, I'm just going to go the long way here. By putting an inverter right here. That's a sloppy inverter. A and B. 
So what you get, that's driving me crazy. There's a not A and a not B. And you get A or B. But like we set up here with our not gate, we can tie together the inputs of a NAND gate and just replace those inverters right there. And by the way, this thing can be redrawn. Here's our NAND gates with our inputs tied together. That's A, that's B. There's a negative OR and a NAND are the same thing. And there you go. That is your OR gate implemented using NANDs. Okay. If you want to make a NOR gate, what do you do? Invert that. So that's a NOR, and then a an, an regular OR is just this portion right there. OR, NOR, AND, NOT. Pretty cool. Let's move on to the NOR gates.